OK, we've got another Barvember question today, a level five question. It's a bit tricky. And if you've already looked at the White Rose Maths answers, um, you may be aware that um, there perhaps is a little confusion. This is going to be a bit different. Um, Sam is comparing the number of squirrels and rabbits in two forests. There are the same total number of animals in each forest. In the first forest, there are 251 more squirrels than rabbits. In the second forest, there are 189 more rabbits than squirrels. And we're told five-ninths of all the animals are squirrels. The question is, how many rabbits are there in each forest? Now, the first thing I'm going to do is actually something with this, because we're told that five-ninths of all the animals are squirrels. Well, there's only squirrels and rabbits. So whenever we get given a piece of information like this in a word problem, we, we need to think, what else does that tell us? Well, that tells us that four-ninths of the animals are rabbits. OK, so already um, we've already extracted an extra bit of information there. OK, so we have two scenarios, two forests, forest one and forest two. And we are comparing squirrels to rabbits. So squirrels to rabbits, squirrels to rabbits. In the first forest, there are 251 more squirrels than rabbits. So I'm going to draw a great big long bar to represent the squirrels. And I'm going to draw a shorter bar to represent the rabbits. Now, I could... Um, mark this space in as the difference between and mark that as and um, give that a value of 251. What I'm going to do instead though, and the reason for that will become clearer in a bit, is I'm going to, to do this. This is where, you know, had the squirrels and the rabbits had had they had there been the same number, the bars would have um, been um, would have met here had there only been as many squirrels as rabbits. So this is where they are the same, and this is the difference, 251. OK, I'm going to look at forest two now. In the second forest, there are 189 more rabbits than squirrels. So the rabbit bar is going to be the longer one. OK. And let's see, this is our squirrel bar. You might hear some fireworks in the background. All right, the squirrel bar is shorter this time. I'm going to do the same thing, okay? All right, this is had they been the same size, um, but they're not. There are more rabbits, and there are 189 more rabbits. I could have put marked that in here. Um, why I've done that, um, again, I'll explain in a moment. Okay, so what do we know? Now, um, some of you may already realize, okay, that here we're told we've got 251 more squirrels. Here we have 189 more rabbits. We've also been told that they're the same number of animals in, in each of these models. And what you will then, you, some of you may realize, is that the difference between these two, um, 251, if we... Um, subtract 189 we get 62 and that that is the difference between the number of squirrels and the number of rabbits. Um, however that might not be obvious to you because it's actually hard to to see that from the model um, you know because you've when you're drawing it you've got no idea of how big things are you really are not going to to know unless you've got that um, experience. So you may want to try and prove it to yourself. Now, um, as it is, I mean, I do know that that is equivalent to the difference. As I said, I will prove it in a moment. But if we go back to here, that's a useful bit of information because we know something from down here that the difference, because we know that five ninths of the animals are squirrels, four ninths are rabbits, the difference of course, is then one ninth. So this 62 must be equivalent to one ninth of the total. OK, so 62 times nine 
okay, which gives us 558, um, gives us the total number of animals in, in the whole model. Okay, but how are we going to prove that um, and how can we be confident about that? Okay, well, let's have a look here. Again, same number of animals in both forests. Um, we know that this part is equal to this part, but that it, these are not equal to these. How do we know that? Well, because if this is 251 and this is 189, then the value of these two parts must be greater than the value of these two parts. Okay. And um, the difference between them is, of course, the difference between 251 and 189, which is the 62. And that 62 must be divided between these two parts. So if I mark these off here, now I'm making, I'm, I'm saying that these parts are all equal, then this must have a value of 31 and this must have a value of 31. Okay, and now I'm going to mark these in as P. These I'm just making sure we know these are my equal parts. All right. So how does that help me? Um, if I want to make it even clearer and I'm not sure, what I can do is um, is put all of the um, all of the squirrels on one row and all of the rabbits on one row and see what that shows me. So I'm going to have squirrels, I'm going to have rabbits. And right, so first, what have I got for squirrels? I've got one part and a 251, another part and a 31. For rabbits, I have a part here and a part here. So they've also got two parts and rabbit has also got a 31. So what I'm going to do, it's a bit like um, putting like terms together in algebra. Okay, I'm actually going to make these a bit smaller here. So that's going to be one part, two parts, and I know that actually rabbits has the same. Okay, so that's all of these parts ticked off. Then they've each got 31. All right, so, so part, 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 31, 31. And then what? We've got the 251 and just say that that's the 189, 251. And now I can much more easily see that the difference between the number of squirrels and the number of rabbits is indeed the difference between the, the 251 and the 189. Okay. And so it is this, so therefore, I, I can have the confidence that if I multiply 62 by 9, I get the total number of animals. Okay, so how does that help me? Now I have 558. Well, we know that um, each forest has the same number of animals. So if I divide that by 2, I get 279. Okay, so this model has 279, as does this one, 279. And it's already becoming pretty easy, isn't it? You, I think you can see what's happening. So here, if I, um, if I subtract 251 from 279, so 279 minus 251, that gives me... 28 and that of course is the value of these two parts they are equal and if I divide 28 divided by 2 gives me 14 that's then the value of each of these parts and if the if this is 14 and this is 14 so are these okay so um where actually what I haven't done is it says how many rabbits are in each forest. So this is one of my questions, isn't it? There we go. And I've already got an answer, 14. Okay. And what's the other question? Where's the other question? That other question is over here. And here I'm going to be adding 
14 plus 31 plus 189. And that all adds up to 234. So these are actually my two answers. I will just really quickly um, calculate the number of squirrels. So the number of squirrels is going to be 251 plus 14. That is 265. And the number of squirrels in forest two, well, that's 31 plus 14, which is 45. Okay. But um, again, our answer, right, our two answers are here. And in forest one, we have 14. And in forest two, we have 234.